Hello everyone. I want to introduce you to my son Gabriel. He is nine months old. You know, a few days ago I was shooting a video on, uh, on baseball, actually, what I learned from going to a professional baseball game. And I thought, since we're out to shoot some family photos, we can have some fun today. Yeah? So I thought, what could I actually learn from maybe my son? Obviously, my job and my goal is to teach him a lot of things in life. And I thought if I could learn business tips, five professional, incredible business tips from a baseball game, maybe I could learn a secret of life from my own son here. Because often I believe children might know more than we do when it comes to how enjoying the moment and enjoying the day. Yeah, what do you see, something cool? So in a moment, I'm gonna go shoot some photos and do some family fun. And when I get back, I'll share with you the lesson I learned and see, uh, see what we get from it. Of course, if you like more videos like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So my phone died right after I shot the first part of this video, uh, which is perfect because of the lesson I learned. Like I said, a couple days ago I watched a baseball game, learned some incredible business secrets. So last night while we were doing a family photo shoot with my son Gabriel, um, I thought I would take a moment, just observe, be present with him and see what lesson could I learn? What, what could he teach me or what could I see by observing him? And the fact that my phone died right after I shot that first video was right in line with the lesson I learned. You see, when we took the photography, or I took the photos, and the photographer was following us all around and taking the shots, most of the shots of him are not of him in our arms. They were actually either of him between my legs, or between our feet, or on the ground, or reaching out of my arms in order to grab the tree branch, the flower, the different thing that caught his attention. It was almost impossible to get him to look right at the, right at the photographer which is fine because I'm sure they're going to be some great action shots. Which leads me to the lesson I learned. You know, I was sitting there and I'm watching him. He wanted out of my arms, so I put him on the ground and he held onto my fingers as he walked. Right between my legs, we started running together and jumping and having lots of fun, you know, all the life and enjoyment of a nine month old. But he has a strange obsession. I don't know what it is. He loves leaves. We've noticed it for the last two months. If there's a leaf, he goes out of his way to grab it sit there and just looks at it and just kind of turns it in his hand it's always like this because this is where his hand movements is at so far and then he eats it of course <laughs> but he enjoys it so he was sitting there observing the leaf and putting it down and picking up the next one and putting it down picking up the next one putting it down when he's in my arms he's reaching over he's grabbing the flowers grabbing the branches wanting to touch everything let's just think about that what lesson is there the observance of life and nature, of every moment, to seeing the beauty in every second of every day, that even on a trail, to be as inquisitive and curious about something as simple as a leaf, because it's a new texture or a new design or a color maybe he's never seen before. And it makes me think about even me, for example, and my phone, <laughs> this very thing right here, and how I was out, family photo shoot, and I was thinking this is a great time for technology to, you know, take a video or work. And so the lesson I had is maybe I'm better off to leave my phone at home and walk through the path with my son and enjoy what I observe and what I see each and every day. Or maybe there's something really cool about that leaf or the crab apple that he tried to eat. Don't worry, I picked it off the tree, not off the ground. But maybe, maybe I could just slow down. Take a little bit of a breath, look around, and see the magic in life. What do you think? Do you agree? If so, type it down below. Of course, if you'd like more videos like this, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Love to hear from you. Share your stories, share your thoughts, share your experience. I want to hear from you as much as I hope you enjoy hearing from me. And of course, uh, I've got a really good one coming up tomorrow as well. The why behind I shoot videos like this, even though I'm a business coach and do sales, why are most of my videos mostly on personal? You'll find that out tomorrow, so keep an eye out. Until then, thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon. And I look forward to reading your comments down below. I read every single one. So thank you for your heart, for your love, and your support. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.